Tiny here. In this video, we will continue with reaction stoichiometry part 2. And our main focus is going to be on gases and gas stoichiometry. So what is so special about gases? This is our main road map, particles, moles and mass. And we know the road map always goes through more. We are adding one more component to that which is the volume of a gas in liters. So if we have a reactant or product, a gas, we can use this particular number, 22.4. And how does it relate? One mole of any gas will be always 22.4 liters of volume if there are STP conditions met with. So what are STP conditions? STP conditions stand for standard, temperature and pressure. And what are those? Temperature must be 273 Kelvin and pressure must be 1 atmosphere and when we, these conditions are met, we can always convert 1 mole to 22.4 liters. So let's do one problem. In this problem, sodium is reacting with water. Let's get the reaction balance first and I always like to write down water as hydrogen hydroxide which is easy to balance. This is single replacement reaction with sodium going with hydroxide and hydrogen gas will be released here. So when we balance it must be 2 and 2 and that's it. So we got a nicely balanced reaction. The given things are only 3.400 grams of sodium. So that's my beginning point. And then the end point I have to find out how many liters of hydrogen are there at STP. So that goes from sodium to hydrogen and it's how many liters. Remember again our bridge is always mole to mole ratio. So there we go. And when we plug in the values we are going to begin with grams of Na, going to moles of Na, we are over here, from there we go to moles of hydrogen and from there we are going to go to liters of hydrogen. Once when you get road map, it's simple, we just diagonally across, write down the units which can cancel off and then let's plug in the values. This is 3.400. When it's moles to gram, it's always one mole. And this will be the molar mass for sodium, which is 23.00. This is the mole ratio. And we look for the coefficients for hydrogen. This is 1. And coefficient for sodium is 2. So we're going to plug in those coefficients for mole ratio. And then when we are in hydrogen, it's moles to liters. If it is STP conditions, then that means it will be 22.4 liters. And that's it. When we got everything set up and all values plugged in, we cancel the units and then it simply multiply and divide and we get the final answer for this as 1.656 liters. Let's do one more problem. In this problem, there is a reaction between hydrogen gas and chlorine gas. And the product, of course, is hydrogen chloride gas. So let's write down and balance the reaction. And it is symbol HCl gas. And just to make it easy, we'll write down all those are gases. That means they will obey the same rule. One mole corresponds to... 22.4 liters. Okay, that is my beginning point. We have 5.33 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of hydrogen gas. So let's write down that. And then, where is the end point? The end point is how many liters of hydrogen chloride gas we need. So that's my roadmap. And then what I need is how many liters. And the bridge here which is always mole mole ratio so that's simple after that beginning point is so many 
molecules and remember molecules is nothing but particles so when we go from particles to mole remember we use that magic number so I can write down one mole and that will be Avogadro's number here and we are still with hydrogen it's a good idea to write down which substance we are talking about we are still over here at this moles then from there we are going to go to the moles of HCl and that is our bridge and then finally we are going to go to liters of HCl so let's continue in crossing out all the units which we have and that's moles of hydrogen how do we get this ratio the ratio between moles of HCl and moles of hydrogen is simply the coefficients for the balanced reaction. When there is no coefficient, that means it is actually 1 as the coefficient. So it's 1 for hydrogen and 2 for HCl. And if the gas is at STP, which is given to us, then we know the volume is 22.4 liters. And there we go. If you complete all those formalities, the last step is simply cancelling the units and simplify and get the answer for which I am getting the answer 39.7 liters of hydrogen chloride gas. So what do you think? It is exactly same theory, same principles and we are using it for gases using 22.4 liters of volume at STP which is standard temperature and pressure. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video. Bye bye.